Blog Talk Radio. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. presents Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast, playing your favorite acapella gospel songs from some of the world's greatest acapella artists. So sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sounds of voices. Call in live to telephone 713-955-0508 or send us an email to srbutler1009 at yahoo.com. So who's riding with Stevie B on the blast tonight? You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This radio show is the 2018 nominee for the Nakama, the National Academy Christian Acapella Music Award. This radio show is being broadcast from the great state of North Carolina. This is Stevie B, and I'm the Blaster Master of Acapella Gospel Music. And according to Yvonne, the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she says Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ in the world today, bless her heart. And my brother, Anthony Blunt, he's the radio host for the Gospel Train that airs on Sunday morning on 94.7 FM, WWBC 1510 AM in Rockledge, Florida. He said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. And my brother, Ali Zell from Fayetteville, North Carolina, he says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella gospel music. I like that. But you can't be the blaster master if you're not dropping any bombs on your radio show. All right, let me get this uh, airplane cranked up here, ladies and gentlemen. Got me a new airplane. Let me see if I can crank it up, get it up off the ground. Taking off, and I'm flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. I said, boom, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday night for the Lord. Oh, yes, we are. For the next three hours, I want to play some of your favorite acapella gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Durian Paul, Commit Acapella Chorus, and many, many more. I want to hear from our listeners tonight. You can give me a call to the live show at 713-955-0508. Or you can send me your emails to my new email address, Butler Steve. 1009 at yahoo.com and let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. I'm trying to lift up your spirits with these inspirational songs 
on a Friday night. That's right. It's Friday night. And Stevie B is playing acapella gospel music. So turn up your spiritual ear. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. On the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm counting down my first top 20 acapella gospel songs for the year 2020. For the month of January 2020. This is a brand new list I've compiled for this year here on the Blast Night. We're going to have a great show because I'm playing some of the world's greatest a cappella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. Also on the show, I'll be featuring my funny bones. You know, I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. Also, we have my song of the week. We'll also be featuring my monthly triple spin and some shout outs. I'll be shouting out some folks. Right outside of my local area here at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and also some people I've been in contact with here on social media. So I just want to thank you all for your love and support for this radio show. So Stevie B will be loose in the booth on the ones and twos. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, since I'm counting down my top 20 acapella gospel songs for the month of January 2020, my week's total, since this is a new list for the year 2020, all of the songs are in their slots for three weeks. So there's no need for me to keep repeating that fact on every song for this show this evening. You can give me a call to the live show. I'd love to holler at you while I'm on the air at 713-955-0508. I'd love to holler at you. I'll, I'll be calling out my own demand episodes uh, as I go through the show as well. So if you hadn't had a chance to listen to the previous shows, you can also go to wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from and just type in your search bar, Stevie B's media productions. And for the recorded version shows that I've been doing, I only had about, there's only about 30 of those episodes, but those are the shows that I do. Maybe if I debut a new album or something on the show, uh, artist interviews that has quite a few tracks on the show, I do a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. I just take my voice out, and you just have the music playing straight through. That's what those recorded versions are, and the the uh, sound quality is excellent. It's done in beta high fidelity as well, so you'll really enjoy what you're hearing uh, from those recorded versions. All right, so enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen, on the blast tonight. Stevie B is on the air. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Coming in at number 20 is Thurman Meadows from Abilene, Texas. This is his new single, May You Delight in Me. And I did an exclusive interview with Thurman here on the broadcast, episode number 90. Great show. Really enjoyed talking to Thurman and his family on the show. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen, on the blast tonight. Enjoy the show. Delight in me, oh Lord. Lord, I love you. May you delight Lord, I need you. In me, God, oh, you, you are my joy. Bum, 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 because my heart and Lord, if there's anything that is standing be between me and you, are, I strip it away. In me, I want to be close oh, to you, Lord. Lord. Close to me. May you in me. Oh, God.
nothing just better than being with you, God. Just to be in your presence. to Lorenzo McCall. He lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Lorenzo McCall, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. In four, three, two. Hey, this is Dorian Paul, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ooh, wait. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number 19 is One Open Christ from Louisville, Kentucky. This is their new single, Make A Way. This is the title track for their 2018 album, Make A Way. And they, I did an album debut of that uh, group here on this broadcast, episode number 72. And I also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number seven. Now, this group was the recipients of the 2018 the Camel the National Academy Christian Acapella Music Award, New Artist of the Year. Enjoy my number 19 song, One Hope in Christ. Guys, Stevie B on the ones and twos. Obstacles after obstacles seem to happen in spectacular fashion. I'm grasping for a grip that my faith won't slip as I travel on this spiritual road trip. Up and down I go where I stop, nobody knows. But God, He holds the future, whole wide world in His hands. My plans are not his plans, yeah. He will make a way out of no way. He's the same today as yesterday. The reason I'm happy. I know that you're with me today. Yes, Lord, I need you.
I want to give a shout out to Johnny Fuller from Pampa, Texas. Johnny Fuller, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. What's going on, everybody? This is Mario McKinnon coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Y'all keep listening. For everything he's done, I got to praise the Lord. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number 18 is Commit Acapella Chorus. It's my power group out of Rogersville, Alabama. This is their single, Blessed, Saved, and Sanctified from their 2017 album, We Are Not From Here. Now, we debuted that album here on The Blast. That was episode number 23. Also, I did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That'll be under my recorded version. Episode number nine. I did a, re- a marathon show for uh, Committed on this broadcast as well. That's episode number 49. We've done a, a quite a few, bit of work here with Committed the past few years. I also did a recorded version of that marathon show. That's episode number 16. Enjoy my number 18 song by Committed Acapella Chorus. You got Stevie B. On the ones and twos. I'm blessed, I'm saved, and I'm sanctified. I've been washed in the blood, blood, blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. I've been saved I'm by saved God, by the great I am. Great I am. No more change. No change. Binding me. By His blood. By so that I've been set free. I don't know why the Lord loves me so. That's why I gotta tell the world everywhere I go. This man named Jesus, don't you know that he changed my life? You know that I'm blessed. If you only knew what the Lord has brought me through, that is it. Talking about a makeover, the Lord made me brand new. I know you see me singing with a smile on my face, but you ought to been there when He changed my life that day. And now my so-called friends, they don't quite understand this change in me ever since I met the man. Yeah. Hey, well, along came Jesus. He took my wrong and he made it right. You know that I'm blessed. Oh, oh, oh. oh you know I've been washed. I've been washed in the blood of the land. Thank God I've been saved by God the great I am. You know he broke the chain of sin that had a bind on me. Well, if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, I don't know where I'd be. Oh, I can't figure it out, y'all. I don't know why he loves me so. Hey, well, that's why I gotta tell somebody everywhere I go. I found a man named Jesus. He can even change your life. You know that I'm blessed and I'm saved and I'm sanctified. Come on. One more thing, y'all. Listen. Okay. When I think about what my Savior went through, how he humbly died on the cross for me and you. Hey, I didn't deserve it, but still he took my praise. Tell me where would I be if it were not for his grace? Oh, you see, it should have been living life out there with no hope. I realized that I should have been dead and gone. Oh, but Jesus came, and I know he paid the price. And I'm blessed, and I'm saved, and I'm sanctified. You know I've been washed in the precious blood of the Lamb. Thank God I've been saved. Great God Almighty. You know he broke the chain. For me. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. His blood set me free. Oh, I don't know why the Lord chose to love me so. And that's why we gotta tell the world everywhere we go. There's a man named Jesus. And he takes away the pain. Why the tears away? Come 
on and listen. What a wonderful change has come over me, yeah. Said it's only by the blood of Jesus that I'm not what I used to be. Hey, if you just do my soul and all that he's brought me through. I'll tell you what it is for me, he can do the same thing to you. Whoa, whoa. That comes in the Story Glory segment every first Friday of the month. Linda Dillage, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Yo, this is Teray Mack representing Mack Music in Jacksonville, Florida, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. On the ones and twos, it's Stevie B, the blast of massa of acapella gospel music. Coming in at number 17, Durant from Nashville, Tennessee. This is their single, Thank You, from their 2007 album, Ride. Not the exclusive interview with Durant here on the broadcast. That was episode number 37. I got a chance to talk to the Gooch. I also got a chance to talk to Melissa and her brother Anthony, and a few other members of that group. That was a great show. And I just recently done a mar- I did a marathon show for Durant. That's episode number 151. Great show. I think you really enjoy what you're hearing from this group. Enjoy my number 17 song by Durant. Durant, you got Stevie B on the ones and two. I was young and bad and had nowhere to run. I needed to wake up and see what's in front of me. Na na na, there has to be a better way. Thank you. 
want to give a shout out to Robert Scott. He lives in Hope Mills, North Carolina. Robert Scott, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, what up, guys? This is Melody Bailey, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming up next, we got my song of the week. This week, we are featuring Mario McKinnon from Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, Mario, he formerly um, of the acapella groups Five Steps and Man, Making a Noise, uh, and the acapella group The Mario Brothers. And these groups also received the Camera Awards and uh, National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Awards in 2006 with the... Uh, acapella group Five Steps. Mario was with uh, in 2016 when he was with Man. They received the um, the 2016 the Camel Award. Now Mario is making his way to the blast. He's going to be my special guest here on the show on May the first. Looking forward to talking to Mario on the broadcast. Now this single uh, that we'll be playing for my song of the week is their single Pick Me Up. I just love this song from their 2015 album Mario Brothers. Enjoy my song of the week, Mario McKinnon. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Lord, you picked me up when I was down. Lord, you planted my feet on solid ground. Lord, I once was blind. But now I see, oh Lord, dear Lord, look down on me, Lord, you picked me up when I was down, you planted my feet on solid ground, Lord, I once was blind, but now I see, Lord, dear Lord, look down on me. The Bible says in 1 Peter 2 and verse 9, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye may show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Love and Savior, oh mighty God, look down on me, Lord, when times get hard. Show me the way, show me your power, you seem to pick me up in my darkest hour. This is my prayer, this is my plea, when I'm struggling, you comfort me. I know you will deliver right on time, cause you'll pick me up, Lord, when I
McKinnon Pick Me Up. I just love that song. I hope you've enjoyed my song of the week. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Dropping the beat. Stevie Beats. Stevie B, the blast of master of Acapella Gospel Music. Coming up next week, got my funny bone. You know I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. Enjoy this comedian, Marcus Wiley. Bishop Secular. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together right now and welcome to the stage from Houston, Texas, comedian Marcus D. Wiley. Y'all can sit down. What's up? Oh, come on, a little louder than that. What's up? All right, yeah. Uh, it's good to be here. Uh, I'm having a great time. I want to say first, thank you so much to Pastor and I appreciate this opportunity and uh, being here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I was in your mall yesterday. I was looking for us. I didn't see too many, but I, I see where y'all at this morning. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Uh, they was missing yesterday. They was missing. They matter today. Y'all, let me get right into it, man. I'm a preacher's kid. I'm a preacher's kid. Oh, I'm a PK. Yeah. Pre-K. PK. Great-grandfather pastor, grandfather pastor, father pastor. God called me the pastor. Called me back. Oh, I said he had the wrong number. Oh, he got jokes, too. I've been in church my entire life. I don't know the difference between a test and a blessing. My whole life I've been in church. I don't know the difference between a test or a blessing. I don't know when God is testing me or when he's blessing me. That my favorite restaurant is called Chili's. I love the chips and the salsa. Yeah, okay. I'm at Chili's. The waitress brought me my bill. My bill was $17. I gave the waitress $20. She brought me back $75 of change. Is that a test? Oh, is that a blessing? I guess that depends on if you saved or if you saved and delivered. Yeah, because if you saved and delivered, that's a test. But oh, if you just saved. May not come when you want it. Thank you! I ain't gonna lie, I kept that change. I did, gas was high, I kept that back. I had an opportunity to come by the church yesterday, and really, this ain't a church. This is an edifice. Yeah, see, I go to a church. This is an edifice. See, let me tell you the difference. See, uh, you go to my church, and you open the door from the parking lot, you're in the sanctuary. We don't have no lobby. We ain't got no church. This church, all that type of stuff. When I go to churches like this, I be really want to go back to my church and ask my pastor, exactly uh, what are we doing with the tithes and offering over here? Because we ain't got no lobby. We ain't got none of this type of stuff. Make me want to transfer my tithes. Yeah. But y'all watch this. I'm a Christian. I'm saved. You know, I might say a few things because I'm a Christian that's on the edge. And don't push me because I'm close to the. Oh, this is my kind of church right here. Yeah, this is my kind of church. Let me show you what I mean. Y'all, I, I just. I just get to the point now where I like telling the truth, you know. Um, tired of lying to y'all. Uh, you should be tired of lying too. Uh, just at a point, you know, I realized when I realized how much God loved me, it delivered me from you. You know, it delivered me from people, you know, the Christian box they want to put you in. Like it took me years to tell folk I'm not a prayer warrior. This feel good. I am not a prayer warrior. Don't get me wrong. I pray every day, but I'm not a prayer warrior. What I'm trying to say is, if you're on your sick bed, don't call me. <laughs> don't call me. Yeah, because you're not going to like how I pray. First of all, my prayers are short. I hit it to the Lord. He hit it right back to me. I don't know who started these marathon prayers. The Bible said pray often, never said pray long. You got to read it to know some of this. You got to read the Bible to catch some of these jokes. Uh, 
Watch this. You're not going to like how I pray because when I pray, feel this here, I use regular words. Let the church say regular. Regular words. I read in the Bible, he my friend, so I talk to him like a friend. I don't use a whole lot of prayer jargon, prayer vernacular, prayer colloquialism. <laughs> yeah. When I pray, I say stuff like, God, appreciate you. Hey, God, good looking out on that check. I wasn't expecting that money, man. What? Just regular. Not only do I use regular words, but I also pray in my regular voice. That's the voice I was born with. People who talk regular like me and then get up here and pray in another voice, they scare me. You know, they're up here talking like this. Then when it's time to pray, they, eternal God. Oh. I be like, who is this? I bet God be like, who is this? Yes, you've been listening to my funny bone. Because laughter is good for the soul. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight. On the blast, I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. Never think about the Christian ministry. 
Carter and I sing with Truly Blessed out of Atlanta, Georgia. You are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number 15, the Melody Airs. I just love this group out of Houston, Texas. Their single, My Prayer, from their 2000 album, Looking Unto Jesus. Now, this album was produced by the late Johnny Wilder Jr. I did an exclusive interview. Um, with uh, one of the lead vocalists for this group, Frank Melton the Third, episode ninety nine. Great show. Uh, a lot of great history came out about the travelings of this group in the early, um, the late eighties and early nineties. From uh, Frank on that show, that was a great show. That was I do also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. It's episode number twenty six under my recorded version. And ch- I also have a marathon show scheduled for this group, uh, the, the Melody Airs, in the year 2022. The Lord bless us to see those days. Enjoy my number 15 song by the Melody Airs. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. King of kings and Lord of lords, he will hear our praise. Thank you. 
my sacred room, thinking of you. She works at the Hope Mills Urgent Care in, in Hope Mills, North Carolina. She lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Sheila Black, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. I know that wasn't going to forget about you. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is your girl, Tony Washington from Journey Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast Taking it back to the old school Stevie B, the blast of master of Acapella Gospel Music Is your congregation in need of lending for a building or expansion project? As your partner and advocate, Diversified Financial Network will take the time to understand your unique situation and develop a financing solution that meets your specific needs. It's an exciting time for your congregation, and what you need is a company with expertise in church financing early in the process. Call us today at 1-866-513-6665 or visit us at www.diversifiedfinancegroup.com. Just a program reminder, Stevie B's Media Production presents. We're airing live shows here on Blog Talk Radio. And the number to the Carolina studio is 910-491-6405. If you have events that you would like to uh, have announced on this radio show, during the course of the week, I try to do announcements on Tuesday, Thursday, and on my Friday shows. And the first Monday of every month, we're doing this uh, live show, this Gospel Light Radio show. That's a special edition. And the next scheduled show is on February the 3rd. My co-host, Robert Lee Johnson, will be making this proclamation of the Gospel of Christ on that show. And that show will air from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then on Tuesday night each week from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live show. What a word from the Lord radio show and each week on that broadcast we have a guest speaker from the brotherhood of the churches of christ who will be presenting lessons from the word of god also we have the community corner segment and that segment's for small business owners and entrepreneurs who have products and services that they're offering to the community and also my co-host edward bishop from niagara falls new york and my co-host mark N. skelton from indianapolis indiana will be presenting lessons from the word of god on that show as well and then on Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live show, the Gospel Light Radio Show. And on that particular show, I have nine co-hosts who will be presenting lessons from the Word of God. And each week, two of my co-hosts will be on the air with me. I'm also taking questions from my Shout It Out platform on social media, Facebook, that I'll be posing to one of my co-hosts on that show. And then on Friday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
I'll be hosting the live show, Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast Radio Show. And I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists on this broadcast. We also have the Story Glory segment for the first Friday of every month. We're actually interviewing the artists that we're playing on this radio show. And I'm also debuting new music, featuring old music. And my next scheduled guest for the Story Glory segment will be Warren Blakely Jr. on February the 7th. And we're also doing the Top 20 Countdown show like we're doing here tonight. I'm counting down my Top 20 Acapella Gospel songs for the month of January. And we're also doing the Once a Quarter, we try to do the Marathon show. That uh, Whatever artist that we're featuring on that show, we just play their music for the entire show. And my next scheduled Marathon show will be on April the 24th, 2020. And my special guest on that show will be United Acapella. That's who we're featuring on that show, United Acapella from Houston, Texas. Also, my on-demand episodes, if you can't catch any of these live shows, you can always, wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from, just type in your search bar, Stevie B's Media Productions, and you should be able to see my shows. And if not, just go to Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Apple iTunes. Also, YouTube. You go to my YouTube channel, Stevie R. Butler, a.k.a. Stevie B. I'll go to the Church TV Network on YouTube and see their playlist, Acapella Radio, you should be able to see my own demand episodes. Also, um, oh, also this weekend starts tonight. Actually, just kicked off. It's kicking off the EPE, the emphatic praise explosion will be uh, kicking off at the Figaro Church of Christ in Los Angeles, California. And that address is 455 West 57th Street, Los Angeles, California. And that uh, event will be going on for tonight, tomorrow night. The seventh, January 17th, January 18th, tomorrow night at 4 p.m. Tonight's uh, event will start at 7 p.m. Tomorrow night, January 18th, it'll be at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And then on Sunday, it will kick off at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. That is the EPE, the Emphatic Praise Explosion. And my dear brother, Joseph Christian Holt, he is going to be doing live interviews from the artists at that event. And once I get those audio clips, we're going to try to play some of those live interviews here on this radio show. All right, that's the EPE. That's this weekend, January 17th, 18th, and 19th at the Figaro Church of Christ there in Los Angeles, California. The address 455 West 57th Street, Los Angeles, California. The, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors who are sponsoring these radio shows. I uh, certainly appreciate them. Sharon Norwood, she's from Chicago, Illinois, but there's a memorial funeral director of crematory services out of DeSoto, Texas. Stanley Phillips, he's the owner of a touch of class in Little Rock, Arkansas. And Diversi- Diversified Financial Network, LLC, out of Dallas, Texas, owner Shark and Mark, Mark, Shark, Mark and Charlotte Carroll, the owners. And Cheryl Murat from Charlotte, North Carolina, and Yvonne Blazing Cracker Gooch from Nashville, Tennessee. The three E's of Stevie B's Media Production. It is the objective of this broadcast. We want to educate, we want to edify, we want to encourage you in the study of God's Word. And that will conclude my program announcements. Let's get back to the show. You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. I'm counting down my top 20 acapella gospel songs for the month of January. This is the first countdown show for the year 2020. Coming in at number 14, my man Orlando Mookie Tisdale out of Huntsville, Alabama. This is his new single, Move On, the 2019 Southside Church of Christ Homecoming Project. Now, I did an exclusive interview with Orlando on this broadcast. This is episode 124. That was a great interview. Really enjoyed talking to that brother. Also, uh, I did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 30. Enjoy my number 14 song by Orlando Mookie Tisdale. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. So put your trust in God and move on. Move on. You want to give up now. Every time you try, you're in a failing Uh-huh You're scared to reach out And ask for some help from your people Uh-huh So now it's getting rough Every move you make seems just too tough 
So now you're giving up Because you feel like you're just stuck I know that my God can help you He won't fail you He'll show you love that's real I know that if you keep holding on to your belt You should never get a chance to feel So just move on God's gonna show you what He can do So just move on Because you feel like you never make it Uh You say they done you wrong Use you for your gift and then they sit you on Uh So now your bitterness Got you running round in the wilderness And now you feel like Nothing in life can bring you up I know that my God can do you He will give you everything you need I know that if you keep holding on your name right, Matanzalo Matanzalo Fo Lavito, and he's from Auckland, New Zealand. Matanzalo Fo Lavito. <laughs> you have to excuse me if I pronounce your name wrong. I just want to give you a shout out. I'm just thrilled to know that folk all over the world can hear this radio show. Stevie B wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hello, family. This is Steve Adams, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number 13, my man Jerome Malone from Athens, Alabama. He's uh, featuring Commit Acapella Chorus with this song. This this is a song is entitled Praise Medley from the 2000 Drones 2003 album Trinity One. I did an exclusive interview with Drone on this broadcast. That's episode number 33. I think you'll really enjoy what you're hearing from Jerome Malone. Enjoy my number 13 song. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Jerome Malone featuring Commit Acapella Chorus. I just love this song. Hallelujah. How many can testify this morning that the Lord is worthy of all the praise, the glory, and the honor? Gave his life on Calvary for a sinner like you and me. So we ought to just give God the highest praise just to tell him thank you. Y'all want to help me this morning? Won't you help me sing? Hallelujah. Help me sing, yeah. yeah. No, he's worthy of praise, glory, and honor. I 
I'm gonna give him the high praise for all of my days. Y'all don't mind, just let me tell you a few reasons why we should praise him. Come on. See, God that spoke us all up the morning. Yeah, clothes on the back, food on the table. On the table. Why we ought to give him the highest praise. That ain't all he done, all he done. He knows in his hands, knows in his feet for a sinner like you and me. That's why we ought to praise him in this sleep. Y'all, we still deserve it. Oh, come on, we ought to give him all praise. Now, y'all, come on and help me sing this song right here. I said, let the spirit, let it rise. Come on, let the spirit let it rise. The praises of the I King, He's our King. Well, I'm gonna, and if you wanna, we gotta, hey, oh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna let it rise. Let it take glory of the Lord, sing let the glory of
I want to give a shout out to Denise Finch. She's a school teacher there. She lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. Denise Finch, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, everybody, this is Eric Gwynn, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. You're in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Coming up next, we got my song of the week. This week, we are featuring Mario McKinnon from Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, Mario used to sing with the group's Five Steps with Man in Man Making a Noise. I just love that group. And also, that group received the Nakama Awards in 2006 uh, from Five Steps, received in 2016. A man received it, making a noise. And I think you're really going to enjoy this song you're hearing from Mario McKinnon. Pick Me Up is the title from the 2015 album, The Mario Brothers. Enjoy my song of the week. Lord, you picked me up when I was down. Lord, you planted my feet on solid ground. Lord, I once was blind, but now I see. Oh, Lord, dear Lord. Down on me, Lord, you picked me up when I was down. Lord, you planted my feet on solid ground. Lord, I once was blind, but now I see. Lord, dear Lord, look down on me. The Bible says in First Peter two and verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye may show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Love and Savior, oh my dear God, look down on me, Lord, when times get hard. Show me the way. Show me your power. You seem to pick me up in my darkest hour. This is my prayer. This is my plea. When I'm struggling, you comfort me. I know you will deliver right on time. Because you'll pick me up, Lord. When I was down, yeah. Lord, you pick 
I just love my funny bone because laughter is good for the soul. Enjoy this comedian, Johnny W. And I love doing comedy in churches, and uh, and it's so fun. I, I, church was non-negotiable when I was a kid, though, honestly. Anybody grow up with that, Mom? You're going to church. It was non-negotiable. I grew up Pentecostal. You can't even fake out sick of Pentecostal church as a kid. <laughs> you church, you'd be like, Mom, I got a scratchy throat. I don't feel like going. Fine, we'll go down for healing. Dang it. I don't want to get healed. I want to watch cartoons. <laughs> she was awesome, though. She was a little legalistic. I remember one time my friend got a tattoo when I was in youth group. I came running home. Mom, I'm going to get some tattoos like my friend. She was like, that is so neat. Where are you going to live? So that was a cool conversation <laughs> that we got to have. <laughs> she could turn on the tears, too. Anybody have the guilt trip, Mom, growing up? Oh, my gosh. Moms know how to do it, don't they? One time it was Christmas time coming up, six weeks away or so. I was 10 or 11. My brothers and I, we gather around my mom. Mom, what can we get for you for Christmas from us boys? We want to get something for you from us. She was like, I just want you kids to get along. (laughs) Well, that's not going to happen, okay? What if I keep punching him in the face, but we get you a gift card? How about that? Bath and Body Works. But it was cool, man. And I love growing up in church. It was okay, man. Children's church was the best. And I love how you guys have, like, taken this school, man. You transform it into a church building every Sunday. I know that's not, that's not easy. You've got a lot of volunteers. Let's give them a hand. That's awesome what they do. Pretty cool. And, uh, man, they do a great job with your kids. I was back there watching some stuff going on back there. I love the kids' ministry. I grew up in – children's church was the best. Then you get in big – this is big church. Big church is different, you know. It's confusing for kids sometimes. You know, we don't have a good transition sometimes as church people. You know, they get in here, it's different. You know, none of the songs have hand motions. That's a bummer. <laughs> and they're not just teaching your kids in there about Jesus. They're teaching them life lessons. They get in here, pastor undoes the whole thing. Back there, we're like, hey, we don't talk to strangers. It's not safe. Don't talk to strangers. Don't do it. Don't talk to strangers. You get in here, what's the first thing he says? Shake hands with somebody you don't know. <laughs> Anybody else terrified? We did, uh, we did this thing for my church. We do these outreach events, my children's church ministry. We did this thing called Trunk or Treat for Halloween. You guys know what that's all about? Trunk or Treat. I think it's great, man. Reach your community. But it was awesome watching my pastor explain it to the older people like the week before. He was like, we know we don't live in the same time we grew up in. We can't be out there knocking on strange people's doors. It's not safe. What we're going to do, we're going to get all the cars in the parking lot, you know, in the dark, decorate them and we're going to teach kids that car trunks may be full of delicious candy hallelujah (laughs) anybody where'd everybody go (laughs) and why is it trunk or treat not trunk and treat why is it or not makes it sound like you got a 50 percent chance of making it out of there alive (laughs) we flipped a coin you got the trunk slam (laughs) climb back in there deeper jimmy get some candy get in there shake hands with somebody you don't know (laughs) <laughs> but I think it's important to plug into church, and I know some of you guys, have, you have two services. So you probably have a lot of people who work one, one service. They serve, and then they come to another service. That's what my church does. My wife and I, we're home. I'm on the road about 175 days a year now, but when I'm home, we try to plug in. I was home a few Sundays ago. We volunteered in the nursery that week. Anybody work in the nursery? And that's, uh, that's the best. Give these people a hand. That's amazing. That's good work. And if you're thinking about volunteering, y'all, the nursery is where it's at because these babies <laughs> cannot rat you out if it all goes wrong. <laughs> if you're a parent, I hand you back a crying baby. It's like, look, maybe I dropped him. Maybe he's a brat. Like, you don't. You don't get to judge me. This is church. And I noticed you guys are a sticker church. We just started getting the stickers on the kids. Y'all tagging these kids when they come in like they're in the wild? Some part of research project? Throw, <laughs> throw some goldfish crackers down. We'll track their movements. It's weird. But I didn't know what the sticker was about, and my pastor explained it to me. He's like, well, Johnny, it's a security thing. It's got the kid's name on it and a little code at the bottom. The parent 
gets a piece of paper with that same code. They come back after service to claim their child like it's a coat check. Wonderful. <laughs> and parents lose that piece of paper at my church. I don't know what your policy is at United, okay? But I don't put up with that mess in my nursery. You come back without that piece of paper, I'm like, I'm sorry. We're keeping him. <laughs> he works for Jesus now. You knew the risks. They're like, you know me. That's my son. I just dropped him off. I'm like, sir, look, without the receipt, okay, the best I can do is store credit. And then I let him pick out a child of equal or lesser value. So... Yes, you've been listening to my funny bone. That boy knew he crazy <laughs> because laughter is good for the soul. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. I'm flying 30,000 feet, and up here at 30,000 feet, I got to drop a few bombs. Let me drop some bombs. I said boom, boom. Gospel songs for the month of January. This is the first countdown show for the year 2020. Coming in, I love saying that. Coming in at number 12 is my man Monte Cuba from Houston, Texas. This single, Jesus, I just love this song. This 2016 album, The Journey. And I did an exclusive interview with Monte on the broadcast episode number 108. And also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That was episode number 27. Enjoy my number 12 song by Monte Cuba. Jesus, I just love this song. <laughs> yes, it would be on the ones that is. Beep, bump, beep, bump, beep, bump. All by myself, I'm just not perfect All by myself, I'm just no good And if I work all day to fix it It never comes out like it should so I open myself to one who's perfect Open myself to someone good Don't have to work all day to fix it It always comes out like it should Oh, his name is Jesus The one who took away my sin Jesus the one With him I always win Jesus the one Who brightens up my day Jesus the truth, the light, the way How is it that you just sit there? And watch your life just slip away You keep on wishing for tomorrow But he only promised you today You wasted enough time So rise and see God is waiting on you To try Jesus. 
to my classmate, Michael Middlebrooks. He lives in High Point, North Carolina. Michael Middlebrooks went to T.W. Andrews together with the Red Raiders. Go Red Raiders! <laughs> Michael Middlebrooks, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout-out! Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. We're United from Houston, Texas, and you're listening to Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Stevie B's acapella gospel Coming in at number 11 is the group Shady Chorus out of Houston, Texas. Their new single, Sounds of Love. I just love this song. Now, this is from their 2019 album, Surrounded by Love, uh, featuring Frank Melton III, formerly of the Millionaires. Now, this album hadn't been released yet, so we're still waiting for it to be released. And once it gets released, Lord willing, we'll be able to uh, debut it here on the show. And this group is making their way to the blast in the year 2023. The Lord bless us to see those days. Enjoy my number 11 song, Shade of Chorus. You got Stevie B on ones and two. Thank you. 
Melissa Lancaster with the singing group Durant, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Dropping the beat. Beats. 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 Stevie B, the blast of master of acapella gospel music. Welcome. This is Garrick Edison of the acapella group One Hope in Christ, straight out of Louisville, Kentucky. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast radio show. And he's dropping bombs. Oh, boom, boom. This is Yvonne Gooch, owner of Blazing Crackers, and I am a proud sponsor of Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Blazing Crackers, they on fire. You need a treat. You're hungry. You need some meat. Oh, you need a treat. You're hungry. Shouting up, hungry. Need some meat. Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Coming up 
next, we got my monthly triple spin for the month of January. And for the month of January, we're featuring Elijah Bush Sr. He's one of the members of the Inner City Singers from Birmingham, Alabama. You're going to love these singles I'm playing for this Elijah Bush. And the singles are Jordan River. I just love that song. Followed by Hard Fighting Soldier. I just love that song, too. And that'll be followed by Jacob's Ladder. I just love that song, too. Enjoy my monthly triple spin for the month of January. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Elijah Bush Singer.
He will try to lead you astray. You got to fight on for Jesus. Keep on fighting every day. If you keep fighting for the Lord, I know one day your soul can live. Keep on bringing up to Jesus by the Spirit. Hoping someday 
Matrix. Hey. Oh my God, is it real? Is it real? Yeah. Oh my God. She lives in Cecil, Georgia. Costas Crawford, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. What's up, everybody? This is Bruce. This is Demario. This is Cranston. This is Tori. And this is Jordan. We, we are Rain. Rain. And you're listening to Stevie B. And number nine, Genesis Archer from Jacksonville, Florida. Her single, Higher Ground, from her 2012 album, I'm a Soldier. I did an exclusive interview with Genesis on this broadcast. That's episode 100, well, episode number 20. That's what it is, episode number 20. And I also have a marathon show scheduled for Genesis in the year this year, 2020. The Lord bless us to see those days. Now, in 2019, Genesis received the Acapella Music Award, Female Artist of the Year. Enjoy my number nine song by Genesis Archer. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. You cannot shake the
much about me, but that's okay, that's okay. She works at Ayers Furniture here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. She lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Gene Voltier, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Monte Cuba from the album The Journey. You are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number eight is my man Torrey back from Jacksonville, Florida. His new single, Thank God. And this song features Amber Baldwin. She's from Greensboro, North Carolina. She's also a member with Torrey in the group um, Testament Acapella Ensemble. And this is from Torrey's 2019 EP entitled Rich. And we debuted that on the broadcast. Uh, that's episode 146. Enjoy my number eight song by Torrey Mack. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. One time for my G-O-D One time for my G-O-D yeah. One time for my G-O-D One time for my G-O-D So many times that we take you for granted You gave strength to the weary and power to the weak And though we are not perfect, your favorite as the season no. Through the fire and through the rain You lost all the shackles, you broke every chain You are a sovereign God, I'm indebted to you forever Lift up your name I'm not afraid because my law will never fail Whatever weapon form, God will prevail If you ever wonder how my God is so fly These are the reasons why He said he had to die the cross Yeah, so yeah He would not be lost And then we I don't think I'm for that Hard times 
No stressing, this a lesson. I got Jesus, so I keep the rhyme and keep pressing it. Yeah. I don't worry about my enemies because I'm a hater. I'm a elevator. God for that. Remember where your help comes from. God for that. God for that. God for that. Of your power, Lord, your ways are so amazing. I'll forever be indebted to the way that you love me, Lord, and I'll forever praise your name. I don't know why you love me, but I am forever grateful for the times that you have made the way you cover me. I know it's by your grace and by your favor I have victory. And now today I'm stronger because you touched me. Orlando Tisdale, a.k.a. Mookie, and you are listening to me on Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number seven, Journey Acapella from Detroit, Michigan. This their single is all about him. I just love this song. Now, this song was written by Thurman Metters, <coughs> excuse me, from Abilene, Texas, and it's from their Journey Acapella's 2016 album Journey Acapella. Now, I did an exclusive interview with one of the lead vocalists, Tony Washington, from that group. That's episode number 50. That was a great show. Enjoy my number seven song by Journey Acapella. I just love this song. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about them. It's not about them. But it's all about him. But it's all about him. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about them. It's not about them. But it's all about him. But it's all about him. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about them. But it's all about him. But it's all about him. It's not about me. It's not about Oh no, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about him. It's not about him. But it's all about him. But it's all about him. We wanna elevate our friends. We wanna elevate our To you. Oh, we know it all to you. We wanna elevate our friends. We wanna elevate our friends. And we love. We wanna give you what is you. We owe it all to you. We owe it all to you. Lord, we magnify you. No. 
not about you. It's not about them. But it's all about him. Sometimes we get the big head. See, we've been walking around saying to you, yes, for sure. When all of them, if you were focused on the Lord and not on yourself, now it wouldn't have been so bad. Lord, I'm running the trust in you. So get on your feet, give him the glory, the honor, the praise that he's still. And here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna elevate our Sandra Dawkins from Houston, Texas. Sandra Dawkins, Stevie B wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey family, what's good? This is East Sage with Straight Company. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Blast. The Master Blaster. <laughs> Go ahead on. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Taking it back to the old school. Stevie B, the Blaster Master of Acapella Gospel Music. Coming in at number six is Tiffany Malone from Athens, Alabama on her single Let Nothing Turn Me Around. I just love this song. This is from her 2011 album Reasons Why. And we also did an exclusive interview with Tiffany on the broadcast, episode number seven. Enjoy my number six song by Tiffany Malone. You got Stevie B. On the ones and two. There's a story of an old sister who would come to church every Sunday. It was pain aching in her body. She would struggle from the back of the church all the way to the front pew. Sometimes with tears streaming from her eyes. And one day, one of those young sisters got beside her sister. And she told that old sister, sister, if you're in so much pain, why don't you just turn around and just stay home sometime? That old sister just held her Bible close and said these words. As I read the story of old, and I look at old man Joe, you see he lost everything that he had. One day Now can't you see a man He spoke with his wife When she said you ought to curse Your God and Jack I can't imagine With tears in his eyes I can hear Joe say I won't let No sickness, no sorrow, no pain. See, this is what I've learned. You see, when times in life get hard, that's when you ought to fall down and worship God. So I won't let nothing. No, 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 no. She 
daughter, she said, before I take it back, I'll add more stuff about those Hebrew boys. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when the king said, better bow down before that image that day. Burnett coming from Charlotte, North Carolina, representing Testament, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Hey, this is Amber Baldwin from Greensboro, North Carolina, representing Testament Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Hey, this is Crystal Stevenson from Greensboro, North Carolina, representing Testament Acapella, and you are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. This is Joe Caesar from Valdosta, Georgia. Representing Testament, and you listen to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. This is Teray Mack out of Jacksonville, Florida, representing Testament Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming up next, we got my song of the week. This week, we are featuring Mario McKinnon from Charlotte, North Carolina. He's from the other acapella groups, Five Steps and M-A-N, Man, Making a Noise. And this and the acapella group are the Mario Brothers. And these groups also received the Camera Awards, National Academy Christian Acapella Music Awards in 2006 and uh, with the group Five Steps in 2016. Uh, with the group Man and Making a Noise. And Mario uh, will be the special guest on this broadcast on May the 1st. Looking forward to interviewing that brother here on the show. Enjoy my song of the week by Mario McKenna. And you guys, Stevie B, on the ones and twos. Lord, you picked me up when I was down. Lord, you planted my feet on solid ground. Lord, I once was blind. But now I see, oh Lord, dear Lord, look down on me, Lord, you picked me up when I was down, Lord, you planted my feet on solid ground, Lord, I once was blind, but now I see, Lord, dear Lord, look down on me, 
Bible says in 1 Peter 2 and verse 9, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye may show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Love and Savior, oh mighty God, look down on me, Lord, when times get hard. Show me the way, show me your power, you seem to pick me up in my darkest hour. This is my prayer, this is my plea, when I'm struggling, you comfort me. I know you will deliver right on time Cause you'll pick me up, Lord When I was down yeah. Pick me up Pick me up When I was down I was down comedians because laughter is good for the soul. Enjoy this comedian Willie Brown and Woody. Yes, 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 yes. All right, y'all. I, I, I'm not here alone. I got my people with me and I want to bring them out. Uh, so I want y'all to put your hands together right now. Coming to the stage. And give it up for my partner Woody. Y'all give it for Woody. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's it. We got to get crunk for Jesus right now. I like that. DJ Question, you doing it. Sound like something like that's a water running. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Did you feel that right there? <laughs> it's all wood. It was hard to find a church when we were out in L.A., remember? Yeah, man. We, was, we went to this uh, small church. It was a little church. Yeah. It was real little. It was just the two of us. <laughs> you preached. I was in the choir. Wow. Wow. It wasn't that small. Oh, no. You all couldn't come on the same Sunday. Y'all come third Sunday. Y'all come say, yo, we'll see y'all around next Christmas sometime. <laughs> For real. But we loved it because it was like a down-home church, right? Everybody knew everybody. Uh-huh. 
We had an old pastor. He was like a real, real down home preacher. You know what I'm talking about? Make you feel like, you know, what the school, the church that your grandmama then went to. And we loved him because each week he would come in to the men's room, you know, and we would be bonding all the men. Talking about uh, what we're going to do. We're going to fix that asbestos right there. <laughs> we're going to fix that flow right there. We're going to fix that screen right now. We ain't do none of that. <laughs> This went on for seven years. We're going to fix this right here. We're going to do that right there. We're going to fix that right there. Then we're going to burn the mortgage. <laughs> we love this pastor, you know. We love him because he made you feel really good. But uh, we noticed uh, this pastor each week mm -hmm, upon leaving the men's room, he would forget to uh, wash his hands. <laughs> and our... Uh, I'm not a Christian tattletale or nothing. <laughs> and uh, I know that uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. And uh, for real, we don't have a problem with this, you know, three out of four Sundays a month. But uh, uh, on the first Sunday, why, uh, that's communion. <laughs> and uh, uh, he's the one that's breaking bread. Needless to say, it's a long walk to the altar on that Sunday morning. As I contemplate my stance in life, I say, Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken thee? As I walk into the congregation, I notice the other members of the church gleefully chewing on their wafer. What do you say? I say, I say forgive them, Father. For they know not what they do. For, for man shall not live thy bread alone. For by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So finally I make it to the altar. Mm -hmm. With my hand outstretched to thee. No other wise God I know for which cometh my help. What does he do? Finally he places a wafer into my hand. And what do you do? I look at it. And I look at it, hoping that somehow it will magically disappear. <laughs> but it doesn't. Quick, under diversion, what must I do? I scratch my head. I yell out aloud, Hallelujah! Everyone looks this way, I drop it on the ground. <laughs> Act like I'm eating it. Mmm, 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 that's a good wafer right now. Ooh, that's a good wafer right now. Here's some hot sauce. Yeah, you've been listening to my funny mouth. Because laughter is good for the soul. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. Acapella Gospel Music. I'm counting down my top 20 Acapella Gospel songs for the month of January. Coming in at number five, The Soul Influence out of Houston, Texas. Their single, Weakness, from the 2007 album, You Gotta Believe. Now, making their way to the blast in the year 2020, the Lord bless us to see those days. Enjoy my number five song by The Soul Influence. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. Your pity party, you probably can hardly 
dangerous without the Lord The devil used his deadly force And your bodily wounded without your shield of faith In the army of the Lord and King Fight your battles under his command you find the Jews that don't have to do a thing Mike Lawler, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, everybody. We're, We're the Jackson, Jackson family. family. I'm Frank. I'm Alicia. I'm Naya. I'm Kaden. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Braylon. I'm Lila. And that's Baby Ava. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number four, my man Dara Barnett out of Los Angeles, California. This is a new single, Why, from his 2018 album, Way to Go. That We did an album debut for Dara here on the broadcast. That was episode number 61. Also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That was episode number eight. Now, this song, Daryl also was the recipient for the 2018 The Camel National Academy Christian Acapella Music Awards Song of the Year for this single. Enjoy my number four song by Daryl Barnett. You got Stevie B. On the ones and twos. Oh, my. 
pledge allegiance to the Tell me what we going to do I used to know you, but Don't call like you used to If you still love me, can I Give me a chance just to say how I feel It may hurt you, but what I'm seeing is real yeah. I love to see children's dress play I got the pressure There's a new pill I saw Today. I'm hypocritical Nothing is wrong Take a picture and just smile But it's coming after a while no. Shout out to the legendary Mark Clemens. He lives in Louisville, Kentucky. And Mark is one of the former vocalists of the, my power group, Straight Company. Mark Clemens, the legendary Mark Clemens. I have to make sure I say that. Stevie B wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. 
Hello, I'm Thurman Metters with the Ministry Church of Christ Adult Chorus, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Spinning on the ones and twos, it's Stevie B, the blast of massa of acapella gospel music. Coming in at number three, called by God Aquala Ensemble out of Nashville, Tennessee. This is that new single, Yes, is on the way. I just love this song. Now, we debuted that album here on the broadcast. That's 2019 album for his purpose. And that's episode 134. Great album. I think you really enjoy what you're hearing coming from this group called by God. And also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 32. Enjoy my number three song by Call by God Aquala Ensemble. You guys to be on the ones and twos. Now this song's featuring Dwayne Pugh from Dallas, Texas, by the way. Yeah. 
I want to give a shout out to Captain Winston S. Chambers. He's stationed in the United States Air Force. He's stationed out there at Fort Irwin, California. Captain Winston S. Chambers, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out and thank you for your service. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hi, I'm Brother Brian Malone with the Committed Acapella Chorus from Rogersville, Alabama, and you are listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Coming in at number two, my power group straight coming in. This is their new single, Awesome, the Anthem Unplugged Acapella. Now, this new project is still pending. We're still waiting for them to release that album. This song was the 2016 The Camel Song of the Year. And I did a uh, marathon show for Straight Company. That's episode number 76. Check that out if you had not had a chance to listen to that. This group was established in 1975. And on that show, I had two of the original members of that group. He says Jesse Marat and Mark Clemens, the legendary Mark Clemens. And also one of the vocalists, uh, George Smith, was Gunsmith was on the show with me. We had a great time on that show. I also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. And that's episode number 18. Now, this new album that uh, we're waiting on for uh, Straight Company, they're giving me the official rights to debut on the on the broadcast. So it has 20 Soul Stern recordings in a box set. Enjoy my number two song by Straight Company. Awesome. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. I stand, I stand in love of you. Oh, 
Hi, this is Jeremy Roberts, singer of No Mistakes and album I Forgive You, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Dropping the beat. Beat, beat, beat. Stevie B, the blast of master of Acapella Gospel Music. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the clock on the wall, it's time for me to bring this big iron bird on down to the ground. Got to bring it on down. I got to bring it on down. Let me go and drop these bombs while I'm up here. See, I be forgetting I need to drop the bombs before I land because I don't want to blow myself up. <laughs> now I can land this big iron bird. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is the part of the show where I have to say good night. I really enjoy playing these inspirational songs and tickling your funny bone. I like to thank my listeners for riding with me on the blast tonight. You cannot deny what you hear on the blast here on a Friday night. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. But I want to thank most of all the God of heaven through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me the privilege, and it has indeed been a privilege to be able to spend this time with you on a Friday night. So until we meet again. May God continue to bless your lives. It may bless you real, real good. You've been listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. My number one song for the month of January 2020 is by the group Vision from Houston, Texas. Their single, Favor. This is their new single from the 2019 album, While I'm Still Young. I just love this song. Now, this song features the Andre Melton out of Houston, Texas. Now, this group received in the 2018 in the National Academy Christian Pillar Music Award Contemporary Artist of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy my number one song by Vision. Let me hit you with three pieces before I get up out of here. Peace, peace, peace! And I'll see you, Lord Say So, on the other side. Good night, everybody. My number one song, Vision. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. Good night. God bless. I'm nothing without you. Come on, somebody. Oh.